Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice factorial problem and to find the value of x here. We have x plus 4 factorial over x plus 1 factorial equals to 720. We can write this as x plus 4 then times x plus 3 then times x plus 2 then times x plus 1 factorial then this is over x plus 1 factorial which is equal to 7 or 20 then here x plus 1 factorial will cancel each other here then what we have left to remain x plus 4 then times x plus 3 then times x plus 2 which is equal to 7 and 20 from here then in order to make our work easier from here let's represent x plus 3 with a letter so let y be equals to x plus 3 then x plus 4 here will be written in term of y and that is y plus 1 so this becomes y plus 1 because this is more than this just by 1 then times y which is x plus 3 then times here we have x plus 2 which is y minus 1 so that's y minus 1 then equals to 7 and 20 then next we can rearrange this and write y first so we have y into y plus 1 then times y minus 1 now equals to 7 and 20 then in the next step we have this from difference of 2 square when we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a plus b times a minus b so here it's what we have here and we can easily write it again now as y square minus 1 square so we have y into bracket y square now minus 1 square which is equal to 720 and 1 square there is still 1 so let's play this bracket and we have y raised to power 3 now minus 1 y y times 1 that's y then equals to 720 then we can take 720 here before minus so we now have y raised to power 3 now minus y then minus 720 now equals to 0 then from here we can write 720 minus 720 here as y raised to power 3 minus y then minus 729 plus 9 equals to 0 so this will still give us minus 720 and from here we can equally write it as y raised to power 3 minus y minus into bracket 729 minus 9 close bracket equals to 0 because we factor minus out from here then when we group this together like this we can make it y raised to power 3 minus 729 then we have minus y minus into bracket y minus 9 so it's the same thing with what we have because here this used to be minus y and this used to be plus 9 which is equal to 0 then now this can be grouped together as well and here we express this in power of 3 and that's 9 raised to power 3 so we have y raised to power 3 now minus 9 raised to power 3 then minus y minus 9 equals to 0 and from here we have this from difference of two cubes that 
this one we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 this will give us a minus b then times a square plus a b plus b square on here so why this raised to power 3 minus 9 raised to power 3 will become y minus 9 then times y square plus 9y then plus 9 square then minus into bracket y minus 9 equals to 0 now then from here we have y minus 9 common so let's bring it out and this will be y minus 9 then what is left here will be y square plus 9y plus here 9 square 9 times 9 that's 81 then what is left here is minus 1 now which is equal to 0 then next step we have y minus 9 then multiply by y square plus 9y then plus 80 here give us equals to 0 then here we have the we have two possible cases from here we have y minus 9 equals to 0 and we have y square plus 9y plus 80 equals to 0 and next here we have y equals to 9 and here we can check if we have a real solution from here using the discriminant which is b square minus 480 from here and when we substitute the value of a and a here is 1 b here is 9 c here is 80 so b square that's 9 square minus 4 times 1 times 80 and here this gives us 9 square that's 81 then minus here we have 320 and of course this is less than 0 so we can see there is no resolution on this side so we have no resolution on this side then the resolution here will be y equals to 9 and let's recall that we represented y as x plus 3 so that means here x plus 3 here is equals to 9 then to find the value of x we can take 3 to this side and we have x equals to 9 minus 3 which is x equals to 6 so we have the value of x here as x equals 6 then let's confirm from what we have if this satisfies the given problem here we have x plus 4 factorial over x plus 1 factorial equals to 7 and 20. Now let's substitute the value of x which is 6 now. So 6 plus 4 factorial over 6 plus 1 factorial is equal to 720 from here 6 plus 4 that's 10 10 factorial so we have 10 factorial over 7 factorial is equal to 720 and this implies 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial then over 7 factorial is equal to 720 7 factorial cancel 7 factorial so we have 10 times 9 times 8 and from here we multiply this and this gives us 7 and 20 which is also equal to 7 and 20 left hand side equals to right hand side and hence we have x here to be equal to 6 satisfying this given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps 
subscribe for more exciting videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and uh, put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now